I'm a big fan of games, and this includes video games, but especially physical games like board games and cards. So as my kids begin to get older and we start playing these kinds of games together, it got me thinking, how could we create our own custom games so we could not only play them together, but also build them together? I'm also a huge fan of automation. So it got me thinking about how we could leverage web technologies to automate designing our own physical board games or card games. So I'm going to walk through some examples of how we could do that using SVG. So the first example I want to share with you is a tool I built out of SVG that allows you to build path-based games. So you've played games like Candyland or the Game of Life. Um, they're very similar to this where you have a path that you follow and they're broken up into segments for each of the blocks that you land on. So the way that this works is you can actually drag this little node around and continue to add more nodes. And it's actually using a Vernoy um, algorithm under the hood, so it's creating all these blocks um, mathematically. And you can actually go into here and branch things off. Um, and they're all colored randomly. So it's just a neat little tool you can use to create interesting paths. And then you can, of course, save out this SVG, bring it into a tool like Illustrator, and then create a really cool game board out of it. The next example I want to show you is a grid-based game. So this is really easy to do with SVG and JavaScript because you're really just aligning all these squares in a grid. And this works great for games like Shoots and Ladders where you actually move across the grid um, in sort of a linear fashion back and forth um, all the way to the end goal of 100. And then we can also create mappings for these Bezier curves that go from one square to another. Another thing we could do with this is actually create a Monopoly game board. So if you just do the outer perimeter, you basically have a Monopoly board um, that you could then throw your own custom artwork into each of the squares. So I think this is kind of a neat, simple way of doing a game board layout with SVG. So the final one I wanted to share with you is a card game. So you can actually create a deck of cards dynamically with SVG. And the neat thing about this is you can actually have these symbols um, as use elements. So you can reuse them throughout the document and only update them once. So you can see here I have my heart symbol. Um, and if I go in and just like break this, um, you'll see it edits every single instance of it. So this makes it really easy for us to go through and automatically propagate our changes through all of the, our cards so that we can make, create a deck of cards with the exact artwork we want without having to create each individual one on its own. So these are just a few examples of how we can use SVG and web technologies to dynamically create artwork for our own custom game experiences which I think is kind of a fun idea. So I'd be interested to hear any ideas you guys have or any games that you guys can make um, using SVG and dynamically generating the artwork more easily using JavaScript and SVG. Mm -hmm.